What's up, folks? I've got a knife I want to show you guys. Uh, this is the Takamura Nashiji 165mm Japanese Sentoku knife with the VG10 stainless steel. And um, a buddy of mine owns a uh, an eBay store, and he sells these knives that are that are strictly made in Japan. And uh, I'm going to leave a, a link to his eBay store in, in the description below. Uh, this specific knife is uh, is the hammered uh, VG10 steel. And you can see that cool hammered uh, back portion. It just gives it a really cool look. Uh, this thing's about a foot long with about a 7 inch long blade. Almost 2 inches long in it, or wide in its widest point. Um, it's sharp as a razor and you can see the, uh, the heat treating for the edge. Can you see that right there? The different, uh, colors. It's a, um, it's just a really beautifully made knife. And this thing is crazy sharp. And, uh, the handle is just a beef. I mean, it's a single, you see that single piece coming down, uh, uh, down the handle um, so it's just really really nice let me show you the box it comes in this box with this little uh, blade guard thing um, and, it, and it fits in here really nicely I'm not gonna put it in there because uh, it take too long to get it in and out but it just sits well I'll just show you it sits in here uh, just nice and like that that's how it comes well, with that on the cover that's how it come up. it'll it would come like that um, these are about $126 on my buddy's, uh, um, uh, eBay store, which I think is an incredible deal. I mean, this is just, this is beauty. Uh, you'll find Japanese handmade knives, um, for three times that if you go looking. And this is an awesome kitchen knife. I've used it a few times. I didn't want to get it too dirty because it's just so pretty. Uh, so I haven't used it a ton, but uh, I've used it a good bit, a little bit. Let's say that. I've used it a little bit, and uh, it, it just, it's got a good weight, and it cuts so smooth. Uh, so slicing and dicing is just, uh, it's, it's like butter. So anyway, let me get into the, some of the specs for this knife. Uh, it's got the... Uh, the hardness, of course, a, a knife, folks, and I'm not, I don't do a ton of knife reviews. Um, I probably will do more um, in the future because I am a knife guy. Uh, I just have always, I've never really reviewed any of them. So pardon me if I'm leaving some stuff out, but, uh, but I'm just giving you kind of what the information I have on this thing. So uh, it is, it has a 60 to 61 HRC for the blade hardness. And like I said, it is a VG10 uh, powdered steel, stainless powdered steel, uh, but it's clad with softer stainless steel. So it's it's uh, it's stainless in a uh, you know it's it's got soft and hard parts like any of the really high quality Japanese made steel blades are. Uh, so the edge geometry is a double bevel, so you have a double bevel on both sides. And uh, like I said, it's super sharp. Uh, the handle shape is Western and the material on the handle is a black and gray Paco wood with the stainless steel bolster. Uh, so uh, it's just really awesome, really incredible. I, I wish I had more information for you guys, but it has that beautiful hammered design and you could see the, uh, the maker's mark on the... Uh, the back of it just carved in to the steel. It's just really cool. Really, really cool. Um, and, and this thing has got a, just a great feel in the hand. Now, granted, I, I'm a, I'm a big guy. Okay. So I got big hands. Uh, this bear, my hand is just a smidge big. Uh, but this would probably fit really nicely most people. Uh, and it doesn't have, it has a really good weight. It's a little front heavy. Which is kind of what you want to for uh, chopping and stuff. So 
or dicing or whatever you got. So um, it, it has just a really great design weight uh, handling. So it's just really awesome. Anyway, uh, that's about all I can really tell you about it. I wish I knew more of the tech talk about it, but I, I just really don't. If you have any more information or, or want to know any more information, I'm going to refer you to the description section. Just click on that link and go to the eBay store and talk to the owner of the eBay store directly. He'll be able to help you and, and answer any questions. He was trying to tell me all these little specs that I have no idea and I know I wouldn't remember. Um, so I told him I'm just going to send questions to him. So check the description. Uh, I'm going to leave a link to this knife and to his store. Um, so just check that out and uh, go get one. Thanks for watching. Take care.